One of the most important stages of someone recovering from a spiritually abusive system is the healing stage. But let's be honest, as important as this stage is, it's also one of the most challenging. And trust me, I know from personal experience. In this video, we talk about getting on the road to healing from a spiritually abusive system. And I'll be honest up front, this isn't the complete solution because everyone's journey is completely different, but at least it's a start. So if you're ready to learn, let's dive in. Hey, this is Nick from the Life Recreated channel. On this channel, we dive into topics like faith, healing, and subjects just like this one. So if you're here for the first time and that's something you'd find interesting, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications. This video is a clip from our live show that we do every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and make sure you join us for that. Also, if you know somebody that may be starting their own healing process, make sure you share this video. Let's dive this in. Is, this is actually, um, in my opinion, one of the most important aspects of this is how do we get back to the road to healing? Let's say, for instance, you know, we've uh, found ourselves in a spiritually abusive situation. Uh, we're, we're dealing with like the fear. We're dealing with, you know, all those different things that, uh, you know, the fear or the system has caused. You know, one of the main things is how do I get on a road to healing? Right. How do I get on the road to healing? And I feel like one of the first ways for us is to have compassion, right? Having compassion, having compassion. And one of the most important persons I think that you need to have compassion with when you're on your road to healing, if you've gone through this, is having learning how to have compassion with yourself. You know, like I talked about with um, being or feeling that shame, it, it, it hits you at the core and, and, you know, makes you think that you're not good as a person, right? And so the beginning road to that healing is to recognize, listen, what I went through or maybe what I've experienced is, is not me, right? It's, it's, it's not me. It's not me at the core of who I am, right? And so learning how to be compassionate with who I am as a person. You know, a lot of times when you come out of a spiritually abusive system, your mindset is so focused on the doing, the performing, the, uh, it, it's so focused on, you know, I'm not doing enough or I'm not being enough or I'm not, uh, you know, acting a certain way or, you know, if I do this, this means I'm wrong. It's very, it's very black and white. And so I know me personally, I had to learn, I, le I had to learn how to be compassionate with myself. I had to learn how to be okay with myself as an individual. I had to be okay with the fact that, look, I'm not always going to get this right. Going back to that comment, like you were saying, um, uh, that I mentioned in the comment, right? I, I had to, I had to recognize in myself, like, you know, when enough is enough for me as an individual, right? Not based off of what someone's expectation is or someone's, um, you know, opinion of, of how I need to perform is based off of, but really just learning how to be okay with me as a person, right? Then I had to also learn how to be compassionate with others, right? With others, even especially the person that I felt that, you know, did me wrong or the organization that did me wrong. I had to learn how to be compassionate with others and realize, listen, we're all human beings. This, we're here on this earth and we're trying to grind this thing out we're trying to make it. We're trying to trying to figure out life. We're trying to figure out how to love one another. We're trying to figure out how to forgive those that have hurt us. We're trying to forget, you know, we're trying to figure out how to how to just live as a good Christian. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to do all these different things. And and that's where it really started for me. And that's where I believe that, you know, for a lot of folks that leave a spiritually abusive system is learning compassion. Right. Maybe if you know somebody that's coming out of a spiritually abusive system and, you know, you, you recognize that that's the number one thing, you know, you can't it's hard to tell somebody that's come out of this system. Hey, you need to get back in church. You need to be reading your Bible. You need to be doing all those different things. Listen, I'm, I'm going to be the first to tell you when I came out of this this situation and, and came out of my own experience, that was the last thing I wanted to hear. Right. That was the last thing I wanted to hear, because inside I felt like I had failed God. 
I felt like I had lost, you know, what my will was. I, I felt like, okay, now I no longer have a calling. Now I no longer have, you know, I, I no longer have um, this right standing with God because I'm no longer in this organization or in this church. And so I had to learn how to be compassionate, right? Um, and that's what I want to encourage a lot of people is learning to have compassion with yourself. Listen, you're okay with God because Jesus makes us okay, right? You're okay with God because Jesus makes us okay, right? And because of this, if you think about this, no one can have authority over your life ever again. Once we get to that part of learning how to be compassionate with ourselves and learning how to be compassionate with others, and, and learning that, hey, look, I'm okay with God because Jesus said that I am okay, right? And this can begin to lead us on the path to forgiveness and understanding because that's that's really, when you think about it, when you come out of spiritually abusive, the main thing is trying to figure out and understand what in the world's happened, how this happened to me, why God would have let it, allow it to happen. You know, there's all these 50 million questions that are running through your mind. Um, and then getting on the path to forgiveness right getting on the path to forgiveness and learning how to forgive those that you may have felt have kind of hurt you right so that's the first step right there and then secondly i think is the confirmation in god's word confirmation in god's word and what i mean by that is constantly confirming god's word constantly confirming what god's word says about who i am as a child of god and in this specific case, constantly confirming what God says about fear and how it was used in this system and how it could have been used against you. Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven, right? This is something I'm constant as I was getting on this live earlier today, life is happening, things are happening, fear comes up about all these different things. And I'm constantly repeating this in my mind for the spirit, you know, God didn't give us the spirit of fear or did not make us timid, but he gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Power, love, and self-discipline. And so constantly confirming that within your mind and within your own heart and going back to the word of God. And look, if you're coming out of a spiritually abusive system and you're fresh and brand new out of it, going to the word of God may be something difficult to confirm. And I'll be the first to tell you, it, it's hard to get back into the word of God, because sometimes you read the word of God and you realize like, man, okay, this may have been used against me, or this was maybe twisted this way, or, you know, there's such a, such a skewed view sometimes on how we look at the word of God when we come out of a spiritually abusive system, but finding some of these small key verses and some of these small key scriptures to constantly confirm in your life can get you back on the road to healing. Proverbs 29, verse 25. This was a big one for me. The fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe, right? The fear of man can prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord can be kept safe. And so that's how we start on this path to healing. And look, friend, I'm going to tell you right now, you know, if you're leaving a spiritually abusive system or you're you're in one right now and, and you're, you may be experiencing this or you may have, you know, just a lot of questions. I mean, it's it may not be the easiest journey. It may not be the easiest journey, but I can tell you and I can you know, I can assure you that, listen, God's desire is to get us back to that right relationship with him if this is what we experience. Right. And that's what I want to encourage you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you got value from the content, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Also, check out our other videos on the channel as well. Until next time, keep learning, healing, and growing.